Alright everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna be showcasing what I think to be the strongest all-around PvE build at the moment. This is not about the DPS mostly, this is at its core a support build that can work really well in both PvE and PvP, but I've adapted it and changed it to become both a damage dealer and a support in PvE. So this is how the build looks like. Like the DPS isn't that high comparing it to the uh, current DPS build. The toughness is again quite low, but skill power is um, is really high and just at the right amount for a support build. So basically our toughness um, is enough for us to survive in the PvE environments. Our skill power is more than enough to provide all of the uh, healing needs for our team and our DPS um, is actually um, a lot different than this when considered in a PvE environment and I'm gonna explain that so we're rocking four piece reclaimer with this build then um, accomplished knee pads this talent allows you to get faster experience and more rewards um, I mean more XP rewards out of missions which means you're gonna be um, filling up this bar on the uh, top right side faster that means you're gonna get um, you're gonna get those field proficiency caches a lot, a lot more frequently. So it's it's a good talent for farming. This is basically a top speed farm build. Um, also using specialized backpack here with four piece reclaimer. Now this build is complete DPS when it comes to stand rolls for PVE. So we have damage to elites on the major attribute on the chest. We have enemy armor damage on our miner on the mask. We have enemy armor damage on our miner, on our knee pads, we have damage to elites on our gloves. Um, and that's pretty much it. As the as a weapon, we're gonna be using police M4 with 23% enemy armor damage. Determined. This allows us to get faster cooldowns when we kill targets. Accurate is is decent for a police M4 and talented, which increases skill power by 15% after using a skill which is quite decent as I'm running the uh, the talent dead by proxy as well destroy a hostile deployed skill to increase skill power by 20% for 30 seconds so we're always getting um, additional skill power as we kill NPCs which buffs it up to around um, 260,000 which is um, just about the cap so let's uh, take this build out for a run we're gonna be running it with full sport sports station healing speed um, on the life support mod, so it's it's a decent build both for solo and um, group play. See, if I go down, just get back up, and full health. Right now I have the talented proc. So as you can see, the DPS is not uh, through the roof, but my point here is that it can still um, melt NPCs while actually being a support build, which which is to me crazy. So talented proc, 260,000 skill power, it's just an absolutely beast of a build. So um, let's uh, keep rolling, shall we? Not gonna problem. I'm gonna complete it here. It's not the best solo. Um, the P, uh, PVE build, but when you have the support station down, you're always safe because it can always pick you back up. It, it's such a great, um, great skill, especially when you're running solo. So, um, oh, we, we forgot we had the reclaimer, so you can use unlimited consumables. So I can, I can 
up water, which is gonna give me an additional 20% on top of what I already have. So I'm just gonna wait until I can get my support station back down before engaging this pack of enemies. I'm gonna really at least get a tango alpha backpack. Nice. The I'm lagging really hard right now. What the fuck? So you can go down when you're under support station, there's no problem. One problem might be ammo. Don't think I really have ammo capacity on a lot of the gear. But it's still really not that big of a deal. So you can see the strength of this build. Let's actually try to complete this Lexington run. Let's see um, how it's gonna hold up. So it does have decent rolls. Hmm. The alpha backpack didn't have armor, but oh well. So we're gonna wanna go up to the left side here. Just hunker down and start doing the business. Get our water going, just melt NPCs. Going down, no problem. Full health back up. Now we're getting focused a lot. actually did destroy fuck okay alright 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 I should have 
had the recovery link with me there. Fucking heavy actually went for the uh, station. Should have should have hid it, hid it better. That's my mistake. Whatever. One thing you can do is you can also pop a, um, a canned food, which is going to increase the amount of healing this poor station gives. See the healing actually doing the work there. I got to feel proficiency cash, but I can't have it. something so the station is on cooldown I don't want to risk it too much here. Don't have the cooldown, so we're keeping it cool for a second here. Alright, let's see how we want to handle it here. Um, if I can like hide the station inside here, could be good. Or too much of an easy target here. But I'll see. Top cleared. I think we're getting into systems reach the hall. Agent, you're gonna want to unlock the maintenance access. The building.
Cash going here. So I want to stay a bit on the back side here, I suppose. All right, last part left, boys. So far, so good. Our strike squads are moving in. They've reached the main hall on your team. So let's see how we handle Beret. Or Luray, sorry. All right. No snipers.
kind of don't want to use much here until the main group comes in. Chill. So it's time for the main group. What's happening, boys? This dude's here. Chill. Oh shit. Alright guys, that was that. Um, so nothing, nothing too special. Actually, it's it's quite unique. I hope. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna try to post more build videos or more gameplay from this build. I really think it's a um, it's one hell of a, hell of a build for everything in this game, and you can definitely um, give it a shot. I would recommend it. Alright, so what do we get? Got the cash, let's open it as well. Banshee and whatever. So, as I said, this is the build, this is the main look of the build. When you proc the talent, it'll kill a mob. It goes up to 260% skill power, which is pretty decent. Um, as you can see, um, the heals allow you to face tank a lot of NPCs. And imagine this in a group, they can like um, when you're running this in a group both for PvE and PvP they won't have to carry their own um, first aid heals you can just keep healing them they can carry two two crowd control abilities which is um, something that's that's big you know allowing people to use something then first aid self heal is really great so anyways guys we're gonna wrap this up here hope you enjoyed it I'm um, taking a quick look at talents here, steady hands, dead by proxy, triage, and critical save are my go-to talents. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one.